Where were you on midnight, December 31st, 1999? If you can remember New Year's Eve of 1999, you may recall it feeling a little more stressful than other years. If you were alive in 1999, you lived through the hype of the computer bug known as Y2K. Hello, I'm Kristen Gallerno. I'm the Curator of Communications and Information Technology at the Henry Ford. The Y2K bug, which is sometimes called the Millennium Bug, stands for Y, that's the year, 2, the number 2, and K, 1000, Y2K. In the late 1990s, computers and digital systems had saturated our everyday lives, whether we actively used them or not. But there was a problem. In the 1960s, computer programmers were limited by space and budget, which meant that their code only contained two slots for the year. That meant that the year 1900 was 00, zero and the year 2000 was also 00. zero. In the rollover to the new millennium, technology experts worried that computers would malfunction, mistaking the year 2000 as being 1900. As early as 1985, people began to realize that there was a problem lying in wait. And in the last few years of the 1990s, the race was on to make everything Y2K compliant. This is a year 2000 resource CD. So this helped people to um, prepare their home computers for the Y2K glitch. Another favorite is this bookmark. And if you can see on the bottom, there is a little sticker that says Y2K compliant, which is a really silly pun because bookmarks are always going to be Y2K compliant. The glitch was anticipated to have a potentially catastrophic impact worldwide. Y2K loomed in the news. Computers canceled. Clean water and electricity unavailable. Businesses shuttered. Banks collapsed. Planes falling from the sky. Grocery stores emptied. Nuclear missiles accidentally launched. Power plants broken. The world gone dark. And what happened when the countdown came? Well, we had the lead up of five, four, three, two, 2000, and nothing. 20 years later, we laugh about the non-event that Y2K turned out to be, but a lot of behind the scenes work went into making our digital systems Y2K compliant. Around the world, government agencies and private companies alike formed task forces. They spent billions of dollars attempting to repair problems and to create contingency plans in case there were interruptions. And like any holiday, impending technological meltdown or not, people were eager to celebrate the turning of the millennium. They still had parties. They still wore silly hats, weird glasses, and sparkly clothing. But they also stocked up on water and freeze-dried pizza. They bought ties like this, millennium-themed cereal, and Y2K bugs. Here at the Henry Ford, we have a lot of collections that document this battle of the bug and the lead up to the day the world didn't end. Happy 20th anniversary, Y2K.